Hi guys, uh, my name is Noshad. Welcome to Learn MVC. So in the first video, we had done to how to fetch a data if using Angular JS in ASP.NET MVC. Now this is second video of Angular JS. Now we are trying to do the insert operation in the Angular JS if using ASP.NET MVC, right? Okay. So you can see here index.css team. This is my view. Inside the view, I'm creating one div. Uh, actually, I have already code for the designing. So I just copy paste the code. So it's very easy. Just copy that code and paste here. And you can see employee name input type text name employee dot employee name. And here I have a it one extra attribute. You can see here data ng model. This is an Angular JS attribute. So I define that text box value was storing this is unofficially word storing inside the employee dot employee name model in the same way you can see here for the address input type text name is employee dot employee address and data ng model employee dot employee address in the same way salary also you can see here after that i am creating one button the value was save and name bt and save and here i am click i am i am writing the one event here data ng click this is the click event for the angular js and the function name is save data and inside the function there is one parameter and i am passing the object of the employee you can see here employee dot employee name employee dot employee address and employee dot employee salary so i am passing here okay after that i am just going to the employee controller class here and here we are creating one method for the inserting a data so i have already method so i can just copy paste the code you can see here this is http post method right i just stop the application and you can see here save employee and inside the employee parameters there is one object of the employee objects right after that i'm creating the del object add object inside the employee list and a save change uh, if you new to entity framework my suggestion is please watch my previous video of the entity framework after that you can continue with this video after that i am fetching a data from the employee objects and return as a json format right okay now the all thing is done now i'm just going to my app.js and inside that i'm creating one method which is already defined in HTML dollar scope dot my function name is here you can see save data this is my function name right so I'm just going to be here my function name is save data is equal to this is a function right so I'm passing function and there is one parameter name of employee inside that HTTP I'm calling the post method here post and the name of controller and the name of the method the my method name is save employee right so you can call save employee and one parameter is there also so you can pass the parameter here the parameter name is underscore or employee and the value is this copy and paste call the javascript promises here dot success function result and the other one is other promises is error function result and lock the error here console dot lock result that's it and here you can see here I'm displaying a data with using employee scope right so this is my employee scope you can copy this code and paste it here that's it just save and here you can see the whole thing is done 
Now you can put debugger here so it's very easy to understand. Debugger and the one debugger you see is inside the results after the calling or say employee methods. And you can put breakpoint here also and run the application. index <laughs> right now still fetching the data now press F12 and open the developer mode here you can see in the right side now enter the data uh, with the and by the seller you are eating 9000 let's click on save now they hit in the debugger mode. Is F10, F10. You can see here this is my employee object. If you want to see a data of employee objects, you can write in console mode here and just enter. You can see here employee name Mitesh, employee address Mumbai, employee salary 89,000. Please. And now they are hitting on the CS mode. You can see here. Now do the step over here. And you can see my employee data this one mitesh mumbai and it is 9000 they already saved right okay now the return the list of employees and return in json format that's done now they are coming on the result if you want to see a result you can write here result and enter you can see there is a seven object is there and inside the each object there is a data of employee you can see here right if you want to see again you can see here okay this is done enter you can see here now i just close the developer mode you can see mitesh mumbai 89000 right so it's very easy to understand i just remove the all breakpoint here and again enter one another data mitesh Welcome. So uh, the salary was eighty nine seven hundred. Just click on see. Apply. You can see. So you see how to use use a uh, how to easy to use a uh, Angular JS, right? So I hope you understand all things how to do the operation insert operation with using Angular JS. There is not a difficult code actually. Just simple code is there. So, if you have any query regarding Angular JS, how to do the operation insert, delete, update, so you can send me mail, or you can pass a comment on my video in YouTube. Definitely, I will help you. And if you like my video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for the watching this video. And we had done. Uh, update and delete in next video. Thank you very much.